You alright guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to take you through Natori Ryu Treasures. Now I'm going to explain what all this is, but just so you're aware, there's a long version of this video which has been put on the Natori Ryu channel and there's a short version of this video which has been put on my Anthony Cummings channel so as not to bore the non-Natori Ryu people. But I'm very much, very much a believer in producing future treasures and by that I mean we love antiques today and we love old scrolls and we look at everything but you're only going to get those if somebody creates something and nowadays with a lot of mass creation you know a lot of printing you don't get so much so here I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've had um, mass printed if you like some of the stuff that's there's only a one-off some of the stuff that's personalized and this is going to be the future treasures of Natoriu. There are more than this, but this is more basically the amount, the amount I can fit on the table at the moment. So it's just to give you a taste of what I'm trying to do. So here we go. Remember, for the long version, Natoriu. For the short version, Anthony Cummings' uh, YouTube let's channel. Start with, let's start with Isui Sensei's death tablet. So there it is. Uh, one of those has not been made for many, many years. The original is in um, Aonji Temple. So... Uh, there's the information on the back. I had that made in Japan and hopefully, so that's probably now about five years old. So hopefully one day that will be 500 years old. Let's hope. This is a waterfall from Wakayama, um, not far from where Isui Sensei was doing his stuff. And this is actually an Edo period print from uh, like a guidebook and a local antiques dealer had it. So he knew I liked Wakayama. And Japan so he saved this for me and got that to me so that's been very very I'm very happy with this being added to our uh, treasure now, list. These are the versions of the Shoninki now I have mold I have every version of the Shoninki to date but there's one of the earliest ones um, that was done in 1944 so the full Shoninki actually no it's wrong to say I have every single one I have every single one that's available there are a couple that are not available that are only in libraries and things like that there's actually a magazine print from the early 1900s uh, which I need to get there's Don Rowley's version so Shoninki the true records of the Shadow Warriors uh, that is the the Claude one the blue one his magic is excellent in this is very very good uh, magic side of it then you get this one the Mauser one um, these that came out that was the one that annoyingly I made the mistake of telling people what I was doing before I actually got it on pre-order and I got an email off someone and they said Anthony somebody's seen what you're doing and they're going to translate the German one very quickly into this and I was like, damn. So I was the first, I was going to be the first person to ever have the show Ninky in English. But I was beaten by this chap by literally weeks because I opened my mouth too quickly. So annoyingly, I've never done that before. Now I only tell you what books you're going to get when um, they're on Amazon pre-order. So people can't do that. I learned my lesson that way. Uh, this is my original True Path of Ninja, the very first copy that ever came through the post. Um... I've got to stay on this side because there's somebody's notes over there. There's a phone number. So uh, you'll see here that is actually a um, statue from Koyasana. It was um, a postcard that I got and it's the statue was there at Isui Sensei's time. So we probably saw that one. This is where when you're handling old documents, no matter how careful you are, sometimes bits break off because the edges have been worm eaten. This was a bit I found in the Natori uh, documents. So I took that and sellotaped it in to the actual, um, the first book. So that is the first Shonen Ki, the original blue one there. Of course, we've got the second edition red copy. And of course, Nato Ryu, the main books, Book of Samurai 1, Book of Samurai 2. However, that leads me on to this, which is, first of all, this cup. I need to retire this cup soon, actually. I might retire that. My father had me that made when I first did the Shoninki. And uh, that was the original, that was the original picture that was made for the Shoninki, but the publisher didn't want it. It was made by Jay Kane back in the day, and he had that done for me. Uh, it's cracked now. It's not actually dirty, they're just the, the stickers have come off and they're stuck there. So that that is um you can see where it comes off and like marks get made. So I think I might have to retire that now and um, keep it as a treasure, the first Natoriu cup ever made. But when you come to my house more than five times, you get your own cup. And here you can see John Hater has got his Natori cup. We've also got to get one for Stephen Crump and for 
um, Peter Allen. However, before we started putting the numbers on, that was Paul, Paul Myers. He's now subsequently left Natoriu, so uh, which is fine, but we keep his cup. He'll go into that'll go into the retired cup bin or retired cup shelf, and he will stay there to show that members come and go, which is fine, the same as all organizations. Um, so there are our cups we this get This is made. an introduction to Soto Zen, but we got it stamped at the monastery. The only problem was is in the transport they were crushed, so they had they, they, the ink went the other side, even though I think it had dried it. They've just been stacked annoyingly. But we got these from the organisation, but I've given these out to some lucky people out there um, who have that original stamp. So they now can have that copy you won't get that again that won't happen again so if you've got one of the 50 or so that were made very good this, this is my retired um altar thing um basically it was given to me by the monk and it's there for um natori you can see natori you uh sensei basically middle soke if you like and uh natori sanjoro masazumi and that was um given to me uh, a long while ago when I first started out with the monk but it's since been replaced by the death tablet so that is gone into storage and it will be kept in storage for the rest of time this is excellent I got this made by um, Yoshie's um, daughter who's about 30 35 and she was doing some crafts one day so she made me that badge which was quite this nice. is still in its wrapping it's actually the Shoninki reading club and um, this was made by the monk early on it's actually a headband with a ninja like when they used to do the like the iron headbands for ninjas it was like he made that so cheesy but you know fun so i've kept that pristine so that's gone in the uh the collection now these are what's called goshuin so goshuin are actually for temple stamps and this is the official Aonji goshuin however i had all the natoru scrolls done in this one so you've probably seen this before but they are the scrolls by natoru not all of them but most of them um through there and i had them made by the monk and signed so that's become a little bit of a, a lovely treasure that now then this one was actually for those who are outside Natoriu that is actually one of the pictures from the Natoriu encyclopedia so um and they are bits from the Natoriu scrolls showing you all the different like um crests horns helmets so they're actually all taken from Natoriu documents I've not had anything written in this one it's literally just the, you know, the original signed. Sorry, I'm looking through a camera. So it's the original signed stuff by the monk. And then blank there. I will keep that for prosperity. I've kept a pristine copy of every single of the minor courses that Andrew has um, put together, Andrew Throwburn. So this is only a small collection of them because a lot more upstairs. But basically I've kept an in tact version of every single one so that we can show in the future where they started because we've done lots of these things now and people say oh is natori you a sort of online course these are what you get you you will get these courses so there's monomi course there's torinawa course which is the sort of rope course um the outdoors program the um cutting with a sword the 12 tools program the infiltrator or ninja program so we've got all that sort of stuff and here's his field notes so you can get your natural field notes put your number in and everything so i'm going to keep those for the future so that people can see what we were up to in the past of course courses might change by that point in the in the future so most of this is actually for people that will come long after us because i i hope i hope natori will stay alive for a lot longer than i am and it will move on and become you know uh, and a school again that lasts for generations. Oh, these are excellent. Back to Throwburn. He makes a lot of stuff for me and it's very, very appreciated. You can see that. You can actually see the chalk mark where they actually um, did the embroidery. That'll be washed out and put it through the wash. But um, this is a Kinchaku bag and it's embroidered with the Natori embroidery. So obviously I've kept that one uh, safe. This is actually a replica of the flag um used by tokugawa yorinobu isui sensei's actual lord so that's the flag they would use and again we have a small this is actually a shinobi nawa a hidden bag for your 
rope and hook which uh, goes underneath your armpit so we've got those sort of uh, rope and hook bags but that is the flag that was used by the lord so we're getting replicas of all the flags being made so we can sort of show exactly what flags they would have used back in the day with nato ryu and with tokugawa yorinobu of the same ilk i had this made which was excellent this is a present from jay kane and in here i keep now in there i keep all the numbers that people get for their swords because we put um hidden markers on our swords which is usually our number and these were generously donated from um from ryan potts number 158 and he these are actually gold stickers i'm pausing because i'm trying to think where my phone is i'll show you what i've done with these gold so stickers. those stickers from ryan potts that's the back of my phone and the back of my iPad case. So as you can see, they stick on really nicely for Nato Ryu to give it that little bit of personalization. Now in Nato Ryu, if you actually join and go through those courses that we showed you before, then basically you can end up getting your own dojo name. So this one is, well, let's do it this way around, Kyugaku-kan, which means the house of deep study. Um, this one is Togenkan, the house of disturbing waves, I think it is, which are or the house of waves that creates changes. So uh, these are these were properly done for us by the monk when you get to a certain level in Natoriu. And they will then means you've sort of got to a certain point where you can show what you are doing. He's named this one for me because obviously I'm studying very deeply the ways of Isui Sensei. Remember, for all, I don't want to blow my own horn, guys, but for 100 years, nobody knew anything about this. They just knew this, and they all thought that was it. There's actually 25-ish scrolls in Natoriu. That's one, two, three, four, five of them. So we've got another 20 scrolls to go. So And it's taken me a long time to get to the bottom of all that. So that is why mine is called the... Uh, the house of deep study and andrew does all the uh, online stuff and goes and gets everything done and he's the the house that creates waves included in this we got some patches made up with shinobi with natori ryu these are gorgeous done in thailand by andrew um, my number one there for when i get a, a good good jacket and we've got the mitsudome so that's sort of they're not going to be treasure treasures but people hopefully will keep them on their geese and everything so they'll be around for a long long time now we've got to the scroll portion. So these are my scrolls. I'm having stuff handwritten. This is the only one that's not handwritten. This is printed. So let's have a quick look through this. So this is actually a printed version because it was cheaper to get done instead of handwritten because it's quite long. But this will be the prototype for the handwritten version there. So as you can see, it was all done, put together by me, sorted, checked over by Mirko. Um, best pronunciations put on there as we can. Um, by Mirko and then uh, put together by Andrew Throwburn and printed out and I've wrote the English next to it that's a practice scroll it will be a future treasure and it'll be of what we used in these days to study but actually it will be um, the only one that I want to change is this one that should be Shinobi no Tsuimono no Shina so we want to change that but again it's always debatable it's Ninpo Ninpei Shinobi no Tsuimono all that so very soon or next year with next year's donations i should say so within this year i mean we will get um this written out by hand to match the other ones over there the dog has joined us now this is one of my favorite things and will become pretty much a proper treasure of natoriu so that says natoriu ninka dojo basically kyugaku kan so basically official dojo of natoriu called kyugaku kan um, with the date and the signature at the bottom. So there it is in a very long one. That is just wonderful. That was written by for me by um, Yamamoto-san, the monk. And uh, to show, hey, this is the dojo has been established as a premier dojo under the guidance of the Bod Buddhist temple, Eunji. So it means basically we're in a good relationship with them. They are the spiritual keepers. I am the keeper of uh, basically the, uh, the knowledge of Isui Sensei, if you like. And we will work together to create a proper understanding of ancient samurai ways so that is one of my favorite things and hopefully eventually when we get a really nice big dojo um that will go as a banner on the wall which would be lovely so don't forget to buy those books and we can get and join natoriu and we can have 
a really good good extended dojo and get everybody involved and create a really good community so this is the second um scroll i got from um the monk which is superb this says again kugaku kan my dojo and that is just amazing that is top level calligraphy that he's a very very high ranking calligraphist and um it's it's just superb and i got that given to me as a gift to say thank you for sort of like bringing their attention to natoru and for opening the dojo and reopening natoru how cool is that so there is my dojo name now anybody in natoru who gets to the level where they can acquire a dojo name uh, which is very easily possible it just takes hard work uh, but it's easily done you've just got to put the effort in um so what I'd want you to realise is if you can go this deep with it in Natoru, you can really push and get what you want in Natoru. But you can get one of these. Once you've got a dojo name, you can buy one of these. They're not cheap, but it is proper Japanese calligraphy on very expensive scrolls. So um, I hope you one day will work towards getting your own dojo name and getting a, <laughs> a dojo scroll like this. So this I've had done recently. This is um, Natoru's... Um, Mokuroku basically it's the list of all the scrolls we have in Natoru now this equates to all my research so traditionally we we don't have in the research we don't have a single document that gives you a list of all the scrolls it doesn't exist I have had to piece together all the scrolls from a lot of very very hard and expensive research so originally it didn't come like this this is heaven and earth basically this scrolls so that means the military writings in Ontario a list and heaven and earth scroll heaven and earth now i've taken this it's called kenkon and it's from uh the way that heiki yoho is written um in two volumes it's a very popular way of saying beginning and end middle uh sorry first and last scroll or first and second scroll upper scroll lower scroll things like that you know it's actually got multiple meanings so i've had these made in japan and it wasn't it wasn't cheap to have done and i've used the natoru donations to get that done so here we are i can't show you everything internally because they're secret the scrolls are not yet published so some of the stuff's got to be covered up but you'll get the idea so guys this is very important this is the complete list of natoru scrolls now it's taken me about seven years to put this list together and even now it is not complete in the sense that there are a couple there are a couple of scrolls that i'm not sure if are scrolls or if they're just um comments on various writings but they have been left out so that is why i have left a space at the end you can see here for in case any of that research pops up i can put them in and the same there because this basically constitutes the scrolls written by isui sensei so the man who wrote the shoninki these are the scrolls written by him i've covered up as you can see there four so there are 14 there's the original 10 that you should all know from the book of samurai series and then there are four secret scrolls however that one everyone knows that one's shoninki but i can't show you without showing the others so and on this one unfortunately i can't show you anything it's all the secret scrolls this is the deep esoteric buddhism around here the how to deal with gods and then also chinese formations and everything but so you can see so here's quite important this one is Natoru's secret medicine scroll, okay, which I think only I have. I've given it to a couple of people in Japan, one as a researcher, and obviously the, the translators have it. But that is Natoru's secret medicine scroll, and I have found it. And I found it in the bizarrest of places. Uh, this one is quite cool. It's just the four ways. For those people who know the Shoninki, there are four ways to operate. Um, and this is the old Chinese system of four ways. But I, the reason I, I didn't really want to show you that. But the reason I'm going showing this is many people say to me, they say, Anthony, do you have, what about Kuden? What about the Kuden scroll? Well, that's Koketsu or Kuketsu, depending on how you want to say it. And that is literally the the, the oral tradition scroll. But not only that we have every single one of these has at least two at least two uh if not three or four versions of them we have tracked down in all the museums and they've all got their oral traditions at the side so i i would get it out or i'll show it to you but there are oral traditions written down um this is the main scrolls but overall this is all of Natoru. Originally, there was not; it wasn't divided into those two scrolls. I have divided that because um, we needed a way to say 
Isui Sensei's writing and the writing that came before Isui Sensei and the writing that came after Isui Sensei. There you go. Now on that scroll, there's one possibly to add. I've just got to speak to Kawakami Sensei to get some proof of what I can add on. This is the final scroll. And on this one, there's possibly one thing to add, but it's a, it's an issue of... Um, kanji replacement it might be the same scroll there's a scroll here that's got an alternative title and there's also a, sc a scroll that we know we've put on the end with a very similar title so they could be the same scroll so for natoru members when you do the major courses you've done heika jodan shoninki um you can heiki yoho will come out next year maybe we can do Ipe Yoko. I'm working on Suisen Yoho and Kundo Yoho at the moment. That's missing. That scroll is missing. They're the esoteric ones. Gumbai and Gunki. And this one is a very long one. Probably one book just in itself. But here is one of these scrolls here is the size of the Bansen Shukai. It's that big. It's about the size of the Bansen Shukai. One single scroll. Whereas one scroll here is just a single page. So these are all different lengths. The majority of those are the same length each. Then it goes different and then it goes crazily different from quite long to a tiny short one to very long. You know, it's all over the place. These were kindly given to me by Ryan Potts and I've stuck them at the end. Um, they are our Mitsudomi. So there you go, guys. That is, so if you've stayed with the video till this point, that is the Natoryu treasures. I'm going to build up so many in my life that actually we should leave behind a lot and one of my ambitions is to get all of Naturyu handwritten out in proper densho but that would cost tens of thousands of pounds I think so at least get the shoninki handwritten out by the monk so uh, we're going to still work on that remember if you would like to join this school you can follow us on Instagram you can also find us, or the best place to find us is Natori Ryu Hub on Facebook. And come and join and study these scrolls. Study it. This is real samurai warfare, real samurai stuff from a real samurai who actually tried to find the secrets of samurai battle. And we've got it all. And just to show you um, this bit, that's so at the end of the scroll... Um, You've got the name, the person who wrote it, and the, the dojo name. So this is for Natoryu members only. Basically, what you will do is when you finish the major uh, the Mokoroku course, you'll get a thumbprint. When you finish the armor course, you get a thumbprint. We'll go through it over the next 20 or 30 years, getting the thumbprints are finished. And when that's done, that'll be your certificate. It's the same for these as well. But most likely, that'll be a single book. That'll be another book. It's probably about two books there overall probably about seven or eight books there overall and then your name and your dojo will go there and the monk will stamp it as completed and you will be a master so of natoryu so once you've finished all of those and all of those you'll be a master of natoryu um, officiated by the monk in japan and obviously checked by me uh, to make sure all the stuff is done and probably run the courses will be run by Andrew Throburn who's called the Jodai so there you go guys that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you two are collecting future treasures for your school or especially for Natori Ryu